In this video, which is the penultimate in the Valentine series, I'll be showing you how to make a heart-shaped bakeable tart. For this bake, you'll require some heart-shaped tartlet tins. If you don't have any though, you can replicate this perfectly fine with round tartlet tins, or you can also use a larger one and make a large bakeable tart to slice. Line your tartlet tins with sweet pastry. If you haven't made sweet pastry, there is a video on the channel covering this where you can see more in depth. Just be careful when you are lining a tart shaped tin because it's actually quite difficult when you get towards the edges as the pastry may break easily. Make sure you push your pastry nice and tight right into the edges at the base of the tartlet gel so you have a nice sharp edge when finished and then when lining make sure that your paper also covers as much of the inside of the tartlet shell as possible. For blind baking you can use baking beans although as a cheaper alternative I've always used rice. To see lots more cooking and baking why not hit subscribe and turn on that notifications bell. Next we need to make our frangipan topping for the Bake World Tart. Frangipan is a classic almond based filling that's very light, fluffy and buttery. The recipe calls for a vanilla pod. If you do not have a vanilla pod, I recommend using vanilla bean paste. It keeps better and will give you a lot more value for money. Place the vanilla, butter and sugar into a bowl and then beat until it becomes creamy, light and fluffy. Next beat your egg and fold it into the mix, pour half at a time and then mix until it's fully incorporated before combining with the other half. Next add in all your remaining dry ingredients, the flour, almonds and then zest half a lemon and then mix well before using a flexible spatula to make sure the mix has become fully incorporated. Don't forget to see other videos in the Valentine series and for lots more cooking and baking, why not subscribe and turn on that notifications bell. Transfer your French pan mix to a piping bag. You don't necessarily need a piping bag, although it does help with spreading the French pan into your tart shells. The next stage in the process is to place some raspberry jam into a piping bag. You could actually make your own jam here, but for this recipe in particular, I've used a store-bought jam. Take your tart shells and then pipe the jam onto the base. As you can see here, you don't need to be very neat with it as the piping bag is just to help you get the jam into the shell itself. And then once the jam is in the shell, take a teaspoon and then gently spread the jam so that it covers the whole base of your tart shell. Next, take your frangipan and pipe in a nice zigzag across the top of your tart shell. As you can see in the top right of your screen here, if you don't have heart-shaped tartlet shells, you can always just opt to make individual round ones. The next step, using a palette knife, gently smooth your frangipan so that it covers the whole of the tart shell and get right up to the edges. And then once you've done that, take some flaked almonds, sprinkle very gently over the top and then just very, very lightly press down on them so that they stick to the frangipan. Don't forget to see other videos in the Valentine series and for lots more cooking and baking, why not subscribe and turn on that notifications bell. Bake at 160 degrees Celsius for 30 minutes until golden brown on top, although cooking time will vary depending on oven and it's best to monitor after 20 minutes.
Once your Bakewell tarts have cooled, remove them from the tartlet shells and then if you wish to add a little bit of extra garnish, I've done a little heart shape here with some icing sugar. What I did was take a heart shape cutter and then drew around it and carefully cut it out using a piece of rigid plastic. And there we have our heart shaped Bakewell tarts. These would be great for a DIY gift for a loved one on Valentine's Day, or they'd also be good as a dessert for a special Valentine's meal. I hope you have enjoyed this video. If you have, be sure to give it a like, share and subscribe. And for lots more cooking and baking, why not check out one of the videos on screen now?